Hello and welcome to this Commerzbank webcast. The European heads of states and government have said that they will take their final decision on Greece at an extraordinary summit on Sunday. It is quite possible that they will withdraw their support for Greece. If this happens, the Greek government will be forced to introduce a new currency and leave the Eurozone. Such a development would prompt a new question. What about Portugal and Spain? Both countries are highly indebted to and both will hold parliamentary elections later this year. Still, there are important arguments for the assumption that Portugal and Spain would not sustain any major damage from a Brexit. In contrast to Greece, far-left parties in Portugal and Spain are miles away from obtaining a majority or becoming the senior party in a coalition government. According to surveys, less than 20% of the electorate in both countries would currently vote for the far-left parties. And this is unlikely to change much. First, real wages in Spain and Portugal have declined less than in Greece. Workers are therefore less opposed to reforms. Second, both Spain and Portugal have returned to a healthy growth path. Spanish GDP looks set to grow at an impressive rate of 3% this year. Overall economic output has almost returned to its pre-crisis levels in both countries, whereas Greek GDP is still 25% lower than in 2008. After the elections, the radical left is unlikely to be the dominant coalition partner in either Portugal or Spain. Economic policy will shift only marginally to the left in both countries. The new governments will only loosen the fiscal reins slightly and soften some social hardships. But this should not make investors nervous. Portugal and Spain will cope well with the Brexit, even if their spreads over bonds rise in the interim. Many thanks for your attention and enjoy reading our Week in Focus.